You might not think that the sugar in your cup of coffee has anything to do with V8 supercars, but they're actually very closely linked. And the reason, it's right here in Townsville's backyard. South of the city is the heart of the biggest cane growing region in Australia and it's here where Sucrogen produced the sugar that goes into your morning coffee as well as the ethanol that powers the V8 supercars. Craig Lowndes and Alex Davison stopped by on their way through to Townsville to see firsthand how Sucrogen processes these fields of sugar cane into the bioethanol E85 that powers their race cars. Look, it's a fantastic part of the country and, uh, you know, where we're standing right now on one of the many farms around this area that grows sugar cane, to see this harvest get produced into raw sugar is what we know it is, is fantastic. During harvesting season, the seven mills in the region operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, turning harvested sugar cane into sugar crystals. Using the byproducts, Sucrogen produces up to 60 million litres of ethanol each year. Alex visited one of the mills on his way to the inaugural Townsville race and found a new appreciation for this renewable fuel source. I appreciated my sugar when I put it in my coffee in the morning much more, but it was really amazing. It was great seeing how efficient the whole process is. How they use the, all the byproducts from making sugar to even make the fuel for our race cars, the ethanol. Even after they've made all the products, they've got energy to spare. Since bioethanol E85 was introduced to the series at the beginning of 2009, the drivers have noticed several differences. Well, it was a little bit of work for the, the engine guys and the engineers just getting the, the cars running smoothly again because the, you know, the engine mapping has to be a little bit different. It's a sweeter smell, it's not as polluted. Um, you know, we get the same horsepower, we obviously use the same amount of fuel and obviously get uh, you know, the, the benefit from it. The ethanol production is also part of Sucrogen's economic contribution to the region. Towns is a very significant region for us. We have something like 2,000 employees during the peak of the crushing season and some 2,000 cane growers supply the sugar cane that we ultimately turn into the fuel for the V8 supercars. So it seems like a perfect fit for Sucrogen to sponsor the Townsville 400. It is. Townsville's the perfect place to be. It's the fuel going straight from our backyard to the V8 supercars.